So Nicky, it's been another manic year for Maxine. Has it been hard at times to kind of switch off some of the emotional stuff you've got to do? Definitely, yes. I mean, um, with quite a lot of the story and the storyline content that we had with the domestic violence, domestic abuse, um, yeah, it is difficult because obviously you have to take yourself emotionally and mentally to a place that's um, quite dark. So, yeah, it is hard to switch off, but um, it's, we've got a fantastic group of people around us, not just the cast, but everybody who works at Lime Pitches and Hollyoaks. So um, it's really good because at the end of the day, they really do lift our spirits, which is lovely. Now, we were chatting with um, Jeremy Sheffield a bit earlier about some of the terrible things that Patrick does. I mean, do do you ever play scenes together and think, oh my God, this is too much? Never with Jeremy, never. I mean, Jeremy and I get on so well in real life. Um, I really, really do look up to him. And because of that, on set, we can push boundaries because I trust him implicitly and as he trusts me. So we never, ever feel we've taken it too far. If anything, we always feel like we could have maybe gone a little bit further. And obviously with a big storyline like domestic abuse, have you sort of been getting a uh, view of feedback? What sort of things do people say to you? Yeah, we've had huge viewer feedback. Um, obviously we get told stuff through um, uh, Hollyoaks, but also with the government. Uh, we did a campaign, This Is Abuse, with the government um, and they gave us a lot of feedback. It, it, it's been phenomenal actually to see how it really can reach a lot of uh, people, the power of television, the audience that it reaches and the people that messages get sent to. So yeah, it's been, it's been incredible to be able to hear a lot of the feedback I can know how many people it actually helped. Now, the Hollyoaks cast are all looking super duper glam tonight. What is your red carpet routine? Do you like to take a long time to get ready? How long does it take you to choose your dress? See, I'm a bit manic. I'm one of these people that goes, I'll just leave it, I'll just leave it, I'll just... I've got no time left! Um, and that's usually what I do. And today, that was a little bit like that. I did get here late. Um, just, you know, casually got here, um, so it was a bit of a rush for me, but there's a fantastic team. We had a really good, like, hair, makeup, and Nadine Mirabi's made my dress, so I've been very lucky. There's been a good team around me going, Nikki, Nikki, it's nearly time. Is it? Okay, let's go. <laughs> now, last year, of course, Hollyoaks stole the show. Best soap. What's the buzz? Can you do it again? Do you know what? It'd be lovely if we could again, because for so many years we were seen as the underdog, and last year we proved that we weren't, and we could we could match the best of them. So it'd be lovely if we could retain the title. We've worked really hard to be able to. And things are not actually looking that good for Patrick now. How is Maxine going to kind of feel about the fact that he's terminally ill? I think with Maxine, she's a compassionate person. She's a caring person. So as much as he's done what he's done to her, she's still going to feel for him. Not necessarily feel sorry for him because of what he's done to her, but she's only human. She will feel for him. You know, like you say, he's terminally ill. You can't but not feel sorry for someone that way.